package has come in early. I opened it because I didn't expect it to come in so early and the package is quite weighty. I thought this was um, cat litter. So, um, yeah, I opened the box, but I haven't opened the package yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Amara, what are you doing? Get off my box, you silly butt. So these are some awesome lights, party lights, and they would be great for Halloween. So I'm going to test these out. This is just an LED blood light. I have not checked this out yet. And this one is in... It's uh, another flood light, but this is also a black light. It's RGB and a black light. Your UV. So that's pretty cool. That's uh, very interesting. They're both very interesting. Um, I will record setting this up, but I do want to just unbox this quickly and have a look at what this looks like. I love lights, but I don't have any because I hadn't quite found lights that seemed good enough or to be exactly what I was looking for. So we shall see how these are. So there's your, your plug and your plug. I did not expect this to come with two each, so that's actually a really, really good I'm not sure what that is. Here's the remote. So these are the color options that you will have with it. There's so many options. That is so cool. Here's your instructions. And um, another remote. And the other light. So these look identical. So I'm guessing they give you two. And here's the battery for the remote. And here's the hardware to install it, hang it up. I'm going to open this other box and then I'm going to just quickly plug this in next to me before I install it and just see if they are indeed both the same, which I suspect they are, which definitely makes this a great value. So this is smaller, but that doesn't mean it's any less powerful or awesome. <laughs> hard to do this with one hand, sorry. Okay, so these are the remotes. The two remotes for this one, and it's um, almost the same as the other, minus the UV. Again, lots and lots of options here. Lots of different colors. And I think if I remember the ad correctly, these are sound reactive as well. Um, don't quote me on that. They might be, they might not be, but I have a feeling that they are. And if they are, that is going to be really fun. Ugh. Come on. Okay, there you go. Okay. So these are the lights that I'm more used to seeing outside. They kind of would be on the ground pointing up towards the house. It's metal. And I don't see any hardware on this one. Let me see. There's the instruction booklet. The floodlight. And no, there's no hardware in this one, but that's all right. It just means, you know, this one sits on the floor and the other one is installed up higher. So I thought I saw a handle. That's what I was looking at at the top. So this is the handle or the stand um, 
I really need two hands for this, but it looks like you would, what I would assume you would do is lower this handle and put it so that it faces upwards. But let me mess around with this for a minute, plug it in and um, put the batteries in the remotes and check it out before I install them. I will see you in a minute or two. Alrighty, first off, we have the, um, the UV RGB light. Let me actually go get the remote. All right, so I've got the remote here. Now, I'm pretty sure that the other RGB lights are stronger than these because this doesn't seem to be super bright. I mean, they are quite bright, but um, I'm in a garage right now. So one remote works for both. My garage is set up. This is the garage is set up as the bedroom. This is my bedroom, but I have um, glow in the dark stars. I've got the whole Halloween set up, even though this is life. This isn't Halloween for me. I've got one of the lights set up there, and one is right here. Now I do have the mounting equipment for it, but I'm looking for a place I can actually mount them because the cords for these are quite short. As you can see, the cord is not very long at all. Um, and this will also test how far away lights need to be because I do have lights all over the room. So let's go through the lighting cycles. And let me stand back and we will see how bright they are. I'm going to turn my phone like this to see more of the room. All right, so I'm going to have to come up here and then go back there. You have to kind of be directly in front of it for it to work, it seems. So this is red. This is green. It is very bright. This is blue. The one that seems the weakest to me is the UV. Is the UV, this is the UV, doesn't seem to really stretch as far as the other lights. It is darker, but it's definitely UV, 100%. So that is awesome. Just be aware that it won't have the same reach as the other colors will. Now these are there are a lot of colors to go through here, so I'm probably not going to go through every single one. But uh, this is the strobe light. Beware of flashing lights, so I'll put a warning in the description. That is pretty cool. And I've obviously got something that glows in the dark over there. I wonder what that is. Oh, it's a spider. Cool. Didn't even know I had that. And... This is just blinking. I'm just gonna stay over here for these ones. I wonder if you can change the color of these. Yes, so, okay, red. Uh, let's do the strobe light again. Yes, so I do not know what happened to half my video. I was recording and I lost 50% of the video. Oh my god, I don't even remember what I said and what I didn't say. But essentially, strobe light, different colors, this has a great reach. It does get hot, so I have it on fabric while I am filming this. Don't put it around anything flammable, it gets very, very hot. Again, I, I'm living in a garage, so I don't really have walls that I can, because these are concrete walls, I don't really have anything I can hammer in to hang these up, but 
I can find a place to put them because I do have lights strung up. I'm in the process of just filling this with my own me. You know what I mean? Like This is my decoration. This is how I live. Halloween is every day for me. Halloween is not just once a year, so I take what I can get when I can get it, and that is my life. If you think it's cheesy and corny, oh well. I'm the one that lives with it, and I love it. And lights like these are awesome for somebody like me who likes it spooky and dark and bloody and everything in between. So, these lights have a very far reach. They have so many options. Tons. Let me go turn on a lighter, lighter light. Yeah, they've got so many options to choose from. Like, I wouldn't have enough time to go through all of them and try to do my own combinations and save it and the DIY. It's awesome. I mean, you can spend hours with this thing, sorting it out and creating your own special design, I guess. Not design, but you know what I mean. And if you've got two lights, they don't actually have to be the same color. So I can make that one blue and I can make this one green. I can make this one flash and I can put this one on strobe. So you can do, let's go back to UV, that's my go-to, come on UV, there you go. You can do all kinds of things, lots and lots of combinations. The last thing I had done was, um, be warned, this is going to be very bright. I'm going to show you some of the color changes up close. So let's start with a white. If you don't like bright lights or you can't handle it, Feel free to look away. I'm gonna zoom in instead of bending over. Work smarter, not harder. All right. again. So that's what the lights look like inside. And yeah, I love them. All right, let me put this phone down and I'm going to go switch to another phone so that I can record the lights um, that have the app, which are the other ones that are just RGB, because those have um, the option to sync to the app on your phone and add music and their music reactive, sound reactive, voice reactive. So I need this phone for that and that phone to record. So the quality is probably going to drop because that is um, not as nice of a phone as this one, but it's necessary to show you guys the app and the other lights. So I will be right back. So these are the RGB lights, which to be honest, I kind of like these better than the other ones, um, even though they don't have as many functions, I guess. Um, they have a little stand on the back. Well, it's a mount that you can hang them up with, but you can also rest them. These have a pretty far-reaching light as well, so this is what this app looks like. You can change the background of the app and you can circle around. You can touch pre, um, preset colors 
and mess around with it like this. As you can see, it's changing very fast, very reactive, very, very reactive. And again, both lights use the same app. Now the remote does the same thing, but this app uh, can control both without you having to stand in front of them, which is another reason that I like this more. So I can stand over here in the corner. See, that looks almost UV to me, but it's just blue. So I don't want to drop my good phone, so I'm not really... I don't even have to point it. I can point it down. So RGB... Again, just the different colors and okay so let's see down here you have got music tape style timing so I'm assuming that's just the timer style I don't know what's on my nail that's my nail polish so you can choose any of these different styles. As you can see, you see the lights changing. I mean, there's so much you can do with this app. Look at this. Um, tape, this is where, see, it's reacting to my voice. Blah, blah, blah. Hello, hello, <laughs> and music. This is the one that I love. So you can choose music. Of course, I got my Billie Eilish. I love Billie Eilish. She is my favorite. Let me choose a song here. So I love all kinds of music. I know people say I like all kinds of music, but no, I really love all kinds of music from 80s to doomed death metal to black metal to some rap to dance music to freestyle I mean everything so I guess that shows it for me <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of scroll and focus it on here so you guys can see <laughs> Oops. I could sit here all day with this and play with this one. And I think this style here... Let's see, let's do... Let's just do red, no, purple. I want to see if this will work. That's something that's very obvious. Right, let's try blue. I wonder if this goes to the music, if this is what that is. And see, you don't even have to have this up. It will still respond to the music that you have. Like this. Even if you can't hear it, because it's connected to the app. So you can set it up outside your house, for instance, and not have to hear it going or you can turn it up and have a dance party. Woohoo! <laughs> I 
And let's see. There's the adjustments again. Okay. And off. How cool is that? It's too dark in here though, so it's gonna be like on. Let's do red. Oops, red. Alright. So final thoughts. My final thought is I love these lights. They pack a punch for such a small size. And with each package, you actually get two. So you get two lights and two remotes. I love the UV option, but I love the fact that you can use an app for the other ones, the other lights. So to me, the ability to use an app overrides the ability to have a UV light. Uh, I'm not sure if they have any other lights. Um, these are the two that caught my eye that I wanted to review. So these are the ones that I chose, but they might have an option that has the UV with an app. I'm not sure. Um, the bar lights do get really hot. Um, in the time it took me to record that other video, they were so hot, like too hot to touch. These, I can touch these. These don't get as hot. The other lights are start a fire hot. They must be mounted up and away from anything flammable because I, I mean, I don't know 100% if it would catch fire, but they get so hot you can't even touch them in such a short time. So I would imagine if you are not careful, they could catch fire. So for that safety reason as well as the options that come with the smaller lights, I would pick the smaller lights. I really, really love them. I love both, but I am paranoid. So I... I personally like the smaller ones and all the options that you have, and uh, they're both solid choices. They're both awesome and very strong. Very, very nice lights, especially for the price. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Which ones do you like better? And um, do you think having UV is better than having an app? Or do you think having the option to have an app? is better than having UV. Let me know and I will see you guys around. Bye bye. Bye bye.